future here. vehicles. Those things are stinking awesome. We'll go on one of those. That one's full of people right now. Let's check out the, the stuff, Eddie. Oh, cool. Yeah, look at this. All kinds of multi 
multi tools. So. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I'm wanting to look at. So, what do you guys run for, like, I guess, supplier prices? So, yeah, we. Cool slide out. We're looking at here, man. Looking at a couple different things. Okay. This here is a storage box. Right? Okay. It's just made out of all aluminum, and the box is aluminum itself through the drawer, and it's got full extension slides. Actually, a one-inch over-travel slide, so you can get to everything inside. That's cool. All right. So that's what that is. And then you can stack two side by side. You can stack them up. It's modular like that. All right. Cool. This here is a power box. Okay. This is how we power our campsite. Okay. Um, and there is 200 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate battery. Sweet. There's a 2,000 watt pure sine wave of inverter and a 50 amp DC DC charger. So it'll pull 50 amps off our truck while we're out cruising the trails to keep it charged. Yeah. Or we can pull 50 amps of solar if you have yeah. that much solar available. Sweet. <laughs> And that's what's all in there. Then all the different connection types, 110s, 12 volts, or some USB power, you know, 65 watts of power delivery for the higher power for stuff. Cool. All little things like that. Well, that's cool. So we use it. Uh, we don't bring any propane at all when we go out camping anymore. So we run our cooktop off, off of induction. Electric. Yeah. We brew coffee with a regular coffee maker. to keep warm at night under electric blanket. Dude, that's awesome. So it does all that. So that's really how we just, that's how we sized it. Yeah, I guess you did this. Like yes. Designed it, did everything? Yep. Cool. Yep. What's the name of your company that you're Expedition what? Quartermaster? Cool. Let me get the car, dude. That's all I love I love this box, man. And uh, power, that's a cool enclosed unit. I like that. That's pretty cool. Very neat. Yeah, and we do all this in-house. I mean, kind of store the things that I get to the most just underneath here. Like my chairs and my tables and stuff like that. I just slide in there. Yeah. Pull them out really quick. And then we put this secondary platform on top to mount everything else to. That's awesome. Man, that, that slide is beefy, man. Yeah, it's made with components from a company called AccuRide. They provide the slide and this cool piece on the front that has the rollers in the yeah. lock, right? And then we build all the we build the platforms to whatever size dimensions to fit whatever fridge we want. That's right? cool. So it's customizable, but you know, it's nice because it just rolls down. Get in here. Get in there, dude. That's awesome. And then just slide it right back up. Sweet. How you doing? What's up, man? Explain to me what you got here. Come out around the other side and I'll show you. <laughs> Yep, same one you got here. Yeah. Same color. So what we have, what we have is a, a three compartment storage system. Okay. You got one on each side. They're lockable. All of them are LED lit. Your center section is driver accessible. You can keep and store all your electronics. It has uh, two USB charging ports, one uh, cigarette style. Okay. Um, it's a 60-40 design. Okay. So you can actually remove that one and still run the run small the side seat if you want. In 10 minutes, you can have it all out and put your seats back in. And, and that was the, my whole idea with it was make it more modular. I didn't want to be stuck to a permanent system. Okay. We never use our seats, but what if I need to? Yeah. You know? Well, that's cool. And um, so, yeah, just some good storage system. Gives you a flat surface. We actually sleep back here. Really? <laughs> yep. Yep. Do they come carpeted, or is that something you have to do on your own? Carpeted. Really? Comes just like you see it. Yep. Sweet. What's your lead time on them? We have them in stock. You got them in stock. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep. This is a Legacy Elite 2 bigger unit. It's nice. You're going to want to buy it. <laughs> Give me a checkbook. I'll go. I'll, I'll write one. <laughs> oh, this is nice. 
like almost has an air airstream feel to it, like it's like really high end feel to everything. Like, Daddy, very cool. Can I get it? Can I get it? Daddy, please, 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 please. Full length mirror. Please, can we get it? Sure, we'll get two of them. And then full length mirror, which is cool, which is the bathroom door. There's another shower. As a unit that has the toilet and the shower together, it's actually got quite a bit of room in it. So just go to the bathroom while you're showering? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm confused on where you're saying there's a shower at. Oh, there's a shower right here. Toilet, sink, shower all combo. Uh, this thing is. Wide lens is not great for these tight spaces, but how would we go to sleep? Where would we sleep? This thing is Always. pretty sweet. Where would we sleep? That down there turns into a bed, and this turns into a bed. It's pretty cool. More storage right here, I guess. Huh? They got off-road courses or vehicles people kind of they'll ride with you kind of guide you in your own vehicle these boxes basically convert your truck to a flatbed it's a real just a real simple basic unit but kind of Tacoma just a real simple box with all kinds of cool I mean Hi, how are you? Good, man. Just checking stuff out. Go ahead, help yourself. So, product launch today, it's uh, the Way Out Camper Box. So basically, it's a, it's a teardrop trailer on a flatbed. Cool. So, I guess it's all aluminum. Yeah, exactly. The flatbed, the, the storage under it, and the box itself, everything's aluminum. No steel at all. What's the weight on it? The weight? Uh, the weight of the box empty, it's uh, 350 pounds. 350 pounds? Yep. You just, what all applications do you have for it? Just the comas, or do you got other? Oh, no, we have oh, several other applications. Here. Uh, basically, that's the 6x7 box with bruise on light duty pickups as the Tacoma, the, the Frontier, and those kind of pickups. We have the mid one, the 7x7, which we don't display today, and that's the big one, the 8x7 that goes on a full size pickup truck. For eight foot bed, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Sweet. Thank you. So, whenever you want to take off the box, you put the jacks on the side, get the box and go away with the pickup and you have a flatbed with some sides to hold whatever you want to put well, that's cool so this is the this is the flatbed this unit just slides just you can slide it right out exactly sweet exactly well, that is awesome where are y'all from canada canada montreal yep using a battery pack basically like this is awesome. More storage right there. Or it could be diesel, but that's what talking to the guys in the store. Some earth roamer. There are a bunch of them around. No? You want a free flashlight, Libby?
because you're going to save about 700 pounds of weight over a diesel, you're easy to repair, and you don't need ultra low sulfur when you go outside the United States. Over here? Are we allowed to check out what's inside? No entry. 350,000. So. All of that is solar. Walk on roof. No, you can't get in it. So, if you want a rolling house, there you go. New Sequoia TRD Pro. I don't know if the door's unlocked. It's not. practical this thing is but it sure is sharp full slide the radio stuff in the back and the inside of it Removable tops. This thing is insane.
cool setup on an FJ. Full size rig. Man, I gotta take a, I gotta get a little bit of a video of this thing, man. All right. Is that cool? Of course, yeah. Welcome to check it out. It's a cool rig. Man, that is, man. That thing's awesome. I love I these old Volkswagen. Yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't seen many. I think Dude, there's this, one more like way off in the field over there. It's like, this is the original Overland vehicle right here. That's correct. I mean, Since 1947. They've been doing these for a long time. 1947 was the first one. What year is it? This is an 86. 86. Is it a diesel, I guess? It is or a Subaru. Subaru. Ah, oh, you got a Subaru motor. Yep, so it's 2.5, 150 horse. Really? Careful with the solar cable. Oh, yeah. Trip over it. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Subaru 5 speed. Soon to be Subaru all wheel drive. I'm going to put a front diff in it this winter. Sweet. Or I, AT tires on it, I can go anywhere. How many miles have you got on it? Motor's got about 40,000. It was a brand new crate engine. Yeah. Uh, transmission's got less than a thousand. I just put it you in. Just put it in. Yeah. Sweet. You're doing everything yourself? Yeah. Sweet. It's an awesome setup, man. I love it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Big. Full size. Probably F two fifty, maybe F three fifty single wheel. Big unit there. Hello. Those ground tents. Subarus here set up pretty cool. Set up an Aggie cab. Awesome on in here. Let's see. Look at the Aggie cab. We'll set up there. Puppy sleeping in the home over there. Oh, you know. Skinny guy. There's the Cotty Wampus. Where is the Cotty Wampus? Right over there by the skinny, skinny guy camper. I don't see Cotty Wampus. Huh? Hi. Hi. What?
door for Daddy, there's a bear. <laughs> there's a bear. <laughs> Pretty. Man. We used them last night. You said I think you sold us on one of them. What's the difference in the two? So, is there one that actually heats it itself, or you have yes. to boil the water? Yeah. So you can boil the water for either one, right? Okay. And uh, both of them run off a of 12 volt. Okay. And this guy will heat the water for you. Okay. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the price difference in them? So we're doing a show special. This is 275, and this is bless you. This is 210. 210. Yeah. Do. Uh, you suggest getting the one that'll heat itself. Uh, how many people are in your camp? Usually four or five. Okay. Okay. I would say the fastest way to get it hot is definitely using a stove. Okay. But if you want the extra option, this is probably your best bet. That okay. if you're just like if you're busy, you know you're not gonna have a ton of time at camp. Yeah. You can put this in heat mode while you're driving. That's what uh, I like to okay. do because it doesn't drain your battery at all if you're plugging it into your starter battery. Yeah. And then uh, when you get to camp, you have a hot shower waiting for like your wife or whoever wants to go first. Okay. Just like right when you get into camp. Okay, cool. And, yeah, but then if you do a shower after that, instead of waiting for this to heat up at that point, I'd say Use boil one bowl. part, two parts cold, so you have back-to-back -back hot showers. You don't okay. Have to wait. What's the time limit on waiting, like as far as if you're, if you're not using a stove, how long does it take to heat them up? 15 to 45 minutes because okay. it gets at a degree per minute. Okay. Yeah. So I guess the temperature of the water you're putting in is going to determine. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah, and it's kind of like one of those kind of submersible heaters that you use to like keep uh, like horse troughs yeah. from freezing over. It's similar to that but smaller. Okay. Yeah. What about so the. It's pretty slow. What about the sponges? Is that. What's the life on them and as far as replacements yeah. on them? 
two to three months of daily use. Okay. And they come in a resealable bag. Just wring them out, let them dry out, and then store them in the bag, and they'll they'll stay really good for you. All right, cool. Yeah, and then you can get them on REI and Amazon. So if, if you need to swap them out, they're easy to find. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Dual zone? Yeah, I guess it's right here. These two are dual zones. Open up on either side, I guess. Yeah, you we you can reverse them. Okay, let's go. Cool. How many liters is this? Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Sweet. Beautiful sunset. Everybody's chilling at their camps tonight. These look cool. JK. The girls are having fun. The Rubicon. Recon. Really cool. FJ. They're just ground tent. Set up. Hey Daddy, will you take my iPad? Nope. <laughs> Watch them things. There they go running. More ground tents. Military trailer, cool setup. Looks like they got a tent ready to go on it. Just a cool, cool setup. Down here, section where the Broncos are at. Probably got the coolest rig here, man. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. It's uh, not as fancy as. Oh, that that thing doesn't have to be fancy. <laughs> I should have come over here during the sunlight. Absolutely. That thing is Absolutely. awesome. You're from Alaska? Residents. We, we, we lived there a couple times, but now Sweet. we live in Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a cool pick with the sun breaking yeah, behind I, it. I, I was trying to get the moon in the background. Uh, all the cabinetry is 40 years old. The floor looks old because it's 40 years old. Uh, it's 40 years old. God, that thing's awesome, man. So it still has original sink and stove and storage and the yeah, way up there. Yeah, yeah, the bed's huge. I was going to say, yeah, I'll, I'll sleep as comfortable as anybody in their half million dollar. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Earth roamers. Mm. 